Hey there, everybody. Um, I wanted to just have a bit of a chat here. Um, if you recall, there was a video by Gunpowder Fiction and Plot that said some things that I made a response video to. So, Bookish, a couple days ago, did a video talking about kind of his thoughts on it. And then today did another video that um, was really good too. Um, so I will try to remember to link everything down below. Um, but uh, it, it got me thinking because the one thing that um, Jen It Remembered Reads um, brought to my attention when I made my video was that uh, some of the things that were talked about in the original video um, might have been um, talking about works in translation and um, she made some really good points about that and as I said in some comments on um, my video I don't know if I talked about it on bookish's videos it doesn't matter but um, in my excitement about um, what was going on, I didn't stop to think that maybe there are some people out there who don't read for entertainment and they read for educational purposes. They just want to learn stuff and acquire knowledge. And that's totally cool. I just, I guess, assume people make kind of blanket statements or um, talk in absolutes that I am the target audience for that because... I am a reader. I'm a simple reader, but I'm a reader. So, um, A, I didn't think about people who could read for different reasons. And B, I didn't think about um, works in translation when I made my video. Obviously, um, and on Bookish's video, he says this quite plainly, like if a book was written in Arabic for um, a Middle Eastern market without ever thinking that the book would be read by Western um, countries, like, yeah, that book probably wouldn't try to pander to um, people over here. So that got me thinking about <sighs> translations and um, publishing companies because like when someone does a translation of a book and let's say the author of the original book didn't want to write the book for the white gays or however you want to put it. Um, and we're totally fine with writing their book like that. But then the American publisher decides, wow, this book's been getting a lot of praise. We need to do a translation of this. 
but we don't know if Americans will get this, so we need to, like, dumb it down, or we need to, um, make it more palatable. Like, basically, like, we, we have no idea what conversations go on when hiring a translator. And when a translator is chosen, we have no way of knowing how much of the translator's voice goes into the work. And this wouldn't be such a big deal, I don't think, if, um, especially with like classic literature, when it's being like, I've heard people talk about, oh, I really like this translation of this book, but I didn't like this translation. Like, what about those translations differs? Like, did you like one because it was easier to read? Or did you like one because it seems to be more close to the original language? Or, like, like what are the... What is the criteria for what a good translator can do or not? And then when we find those answers out, we're then just trusting other people who either know both languages or who could say, yes, this is a good translation. Um, so read this one other than this one. Um, it's just, it's so weird. And to get into like, heated debates about, um, what an author in another language, what they were trying to achieve by writing a book, and what their thoughts were going into writing the book, like, is that all being buried by a translator? Or should we be worrying about translators? So another thing about it is that um, in the comment thread on Bookish's channel, um, Jen from Remembered Reads brought up that there are um, like translation competitions. And... Um, so, man, I, I can't remember who the other person was. Somebody else was talking about, like, you could go on YouTube and Google, or, like, just search um, translation slams, and um, there's tons of stuff that you could look at like that. But then I think it comes back to, like, well, what's the criteria? Who's picking the criteria? Who's judging the criteria? Because if it's just to make it easier to understand, that's one thing. But if making it um, closer to the original work is important, but it makes it it makes reading it a chore, does that hinder the effectiveness of the book? You see what I'm saying? Like, everything's crazy right now. Like, I feel like there's no right answer to this, you know? And, um, like, there are a lot of books out there that only have one translation. So, like, you just, you get what you get and hope for the best, you know? But, um. I don't know. And then I've heard things like there's some translators who are really good with a certain author. And, um, th that's, that's weird to me. Like, I don't understand, I guess, the nuances of language enough to understand if someone's just translating a work, if two people both understand the language and they're trying to keep their voice hidden so 
the only voice you hear is the original author's voice. Like, I don't know. This is just like a weird conundrum. So basically, this is me asking you for help. Like, how do you judge this? Like, should it be judged? Like, what's the point, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> where does it end? Because, like, um, two of my favorite books are um, Notes from Underground by Dost and um, Hunger by uh, Knute Hamson. And um, I know I've read different translations of the, both of those books because I've had different copies um, throughout time or whatever. And I think I have, like, actually, like... I don't know. I, I never look at who the translator is. I, I never have thought that that was an important piece to enjoy a work more than others. But then, like, again, like, I've read a lot of uh, Mirakami stuff... And I've never had a hard time <clears throat> understanding it or I, I've never sat and thought, man, like this part's kind of murky. Like if only there were footnotes or like, I don't know, like I feel like I'm missing something in the grand scheme of things here. So, um, what do you guys think about this? Like, tell me, tell me what to do, people. Tell me. No, seriously, like, I have no idea what to do about any of this. It's interesting to think about, but it's, um, I don't know, because, like, I feel like no matter what answer is given, like, someone could say why or how, and, like, I don't know. I might be the wrong person to be talking about this, but if you're the right person to be talking about this, let me know down below and um, get to the typing to let me know how to do this. So I will see you guys later.